Morning everyone, this is Road Road at Restore and I'm John. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be working on the landfill bike and as you know I'm supposed to be putting parts on this, what I'm getting from the local tip or big steel or borrow from or wherever I can get stuff from. Some of you might know I got these from the market. Cool, must have been three years ago or more. Four pound from the co local car boot. So this video, we're going to be trying to fit these to this. So, let's get on with it. Yes, we've got to get this all out of the way first. Uh, let's get this out of the way and uh, see what we're doing. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. So yes, these want to be about there somewhere. So I think the normal thing to do is like uh, some uh, brackets around the tubes and then get some sort of bracket coming out of those so the headlight can bolt into them one on either side and it just so happens that many 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 years ago when I built my tin shed I used two of these uh, brackets to strengthen the uh, frame around the door. So let's go and see if we can find them and uh, use them what they were really made for. Yes sir, this is the shed in question. Let's see if they're still there. There is one. Let's bring you in closer. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's the first one. And that's the second one. So let me get those off there and then we will get them back into the shed. So I think this one's an anarchy. key. Yes it is, it's obviously got a nut on the other side, so uh, this one's a posi dryer, just into the wood. So let's do this one first. Well, that's the first one. Let's see if we can do this one with a pair of pliers. Then the other one's just the posi drive. Here we go, there's number two. Let's go back into the shed. Well, it's a little bit warmer, not a lot. Now then, after all that, these are all different. This one is nice and thick. Probably about three mil. And that one is only two mil. 
if you can see the difference in the thickness but that one is like obviously chrome that one is just well, I think it used to be chrome but it's just more rusty steel but uh, luckily they do match up like that I think that is an original one and that one has been made by somebody but who cares so long as it holds the headlight on so I think that one's a bit bent and let's stick that in the vise and try and straighten it out Seems a bit straighter. This one's just as straight. This one's got a bit of a bend in it too. Yes, that seems about right. these bits of scrap metal I'll use that one because it's the, the softest because I've got to bend it around the tube stanchion port so let's see if we can measure this properly like a uh, professional At least there, so seven inches come from that lip because there's a lip on there. So I'm going to measure from that. There's one, two inch, and then four makes two two inch yes. that two inch and four makes the other two inch right then, so let's do our first line there get as much as metal as we can out the way. Now then, how does the other guy do it? No, nope, that's not right. No, nope, still not right. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And 
there we go. Two very sharp skin cutting pieces of metal. Let's try to get them uh, level first, shall we? Looks a bit better. Uh, need to tap him out a bit. Better. And then, then we've got to wrap it around that. I guess if I stick that in there. is a bit thinner than the CBL stanchions so that should be all good to it. 
I suppose I've got to work those two walls out now. Yep, don't matter which way I do it, so that should be okay. If I change my mind in which way to have that up, have that go pointing down. Or I could have it pointed up. Shouldn't be a problem. Now stick this in the vice. Hopefully we can drill two holes. The drill isn't switched on. The power. Let's plug it in. different idea. off. Now, if I get my straight roll and just put it up to the crease, just draw a line down there, do the same on the other side, draw a line down there and then just cut those two bits off. snips get that off put the other side off So, there's our first bracket. So obviously we're going to round the edges off and all that when we dress it all up. So let's see if we can make another one of those. So, there we go. Now we have two. <laughs> then we don't know whether to have that way. Pointing downwards. Or that way. Pointing upwards. But I guess we'll get to that one. Put it on my bike. Let's go and put this on the bike and see uh, if it fits. That wraps around there. There he is. Looking pretty good, Batman. Pretty good. Right. I think I've got the nut and bolt the right size. Nope, doesn't quite fit in there. Yes, it does. Just about. They will have it sticking down. Put our bolt through there. Hopefully get up 
bolt through there. Put a nut on it. Find another bolt. Another bolt through there. <laughs> Looking good so far, Batman. Uh, Devil's banner. Little Allen key. Oh, don't know about you, but that will do for me. But I think it might want to be the other way around. Let's stick this one on. Stick the bolt through. There, that one's going to be sticking up there. That way. Stick the bolt through there. Not on that. Find another nut and bolt. Stick out of the bolt through. And not on. All that up to the same height. Bolts out of our lights. Oh, is it wide enough? Take the other bolt out. Uh, put that bolt in there. Put this bolt in this one. Yes, I think I will have them facing downwards. Now I've just got to work out how to get a speedo on there. I've got to cut these bits off, I'll cut those bits off. This blade satin black blade. Yes, I spray them as well, dress them up, get rid of all the rust. Uh, I'm not sure about the lights, whether to dress them up and spray them black or just keep them chrome. I'm thinking of keeping them just chrome. Love it! Yes, not to trim them bits up to neaten them up. Put the bits off. Can I just leave that on because it doesn't matter. Okay then, so I've trimmed that up a bit better. But I've managed to get these on the inside of the bracket, so that's all good. So I guess that is job done. These do seem to flare out like that a bit. You know what I mean, flare out this way. So I might actually mark where somewhere and just make a little bend so they look level rather than if you could tell they're sort of flaring out a bit don't like it okay then let's do the Frankenstein test let's put some electricity into this baby I'd say that's the earth Hopefully. 
See if it comes to life. Don't, don't think on that one. Don't think on that one. Ooh, that one's alive. Uh, don't think on that one. So, at least we've got uh, one side light bulb. Perfect. Don't touch these together because you'll get electrocuted. So, yes, that's a wrap. Right then, that's it for this one. So, if you've reached it this far, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another life, brother.